you touching me? Right there, other side of my neck. We're going to make you leave tonight. No. No way. If you're watching me, make yourself known. I remember everybody was asleep and I remember hovering underneath my covers and looking around. It was surrounded by like every demonic thing you could think of and it's something that sticks in your back of your mind it's kind of like burnt there it's something you can't forget i know there were times when you'd go upstairs it smelled of sulfur my dad saw a cloaked figure walking down the pathway it didn't just like show itself it also interact with our family and i looked into the reflection of that back door i saw my dad and I was puzzled because my dad was working that night. Living in that house was a nightmare. It was like a nightmare alive that you couldn't wake up from. <laughs> I've seen what it could do. I've seen how it plays. I've seen it almost rip my family apart. I felt something was there. When you go through something like that, you have that sense. It doesn't leave you. That's when I started experiencing. I was in my bed and I was laying there. And the next thing you know, from the corner of my eye, there was a cloaked figure. I was so paralyzed I couldn't even move. And I felt my bed shake. I literally had to fight the paralyzing scare just to jump out of my bed to run into the kitchen to where my mom was. A few nights later, it came back. It was at the end of my bed. I was so terrified. I could not move this time because they were upstairs. They weren't close by. I started to hear talking. And I remember walking over to the spot and it was just this one spot. You could feel a temperature change, like something was there, like just that one spot. I was laying in bed and I could hear movements in my closet. I could feel something lay down right next to me. And you, it's like somebody's back or stomach up against you. And I could feel it breathing. I was too scared to move. So I just, I had to lay there all throughout the night until the next day. There would be knocks at the window, but nobody was there. My mom also heard it too. I was sleeping and I woke up to... I woke up to it violating me. I could feel it. I could feel it up against my back. I turned around and there was nobody there. There was nobody there. It was as if somebody was like... After a while, I wound up pregnant with my first child. Something dark hovering over my daughter's crib. Woke up from a dead asleep to a growl. And I heard the door slam upstairs. There's times I'd hear what sounded to be walking up the stairs. 
there were times that the my bedroom door would slam shut out of nowhere. I mean, things started to get worse after a while. Things started to become more negative in the home. It became a nightmare. Because when things started going down south, I started thinking things that I'd never thought I would think in my mind. It terrified me. Because it's not me. And everybody could tell you that there isn't a mean bone in my body. The things that I had thought scared me. After a while of living there, I started experiencing movement. Shadow movement. I could feel it. It's just a matter of when. That's the thing. And I don't want any more of it. I want it to go away. I'm tired of it following me. I'm tired of it what feels like it's ruining my life. I'm tired of having to look over my shoulder every night. I know it's here. I'm tired. I want it to stop. I don't want my kids to have to go through this like I did. I don't want them. If something happens to me, where is it going to go? Who's its next victim? I don't want it to be my kids. I've seen what it can do. I've experienced it all. I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't take no more. I know what's around. I can feel it. And it knows I know. I've tried getting help. I don't know why it's followed me. I don't know what it wants from me. But I just want it to go away. I'm tired. And that's when I found you guys. And knowing what you guys have been through as kids. You guys know. You guys have seen it and been through it. And be able to live what life I have. I'm not having it hurt. It's nothing but destruction and chaos. I know what it can do. I've seen what it can do. But how far will it go? It had made me think things that I never thought I'd ever think. And it disgusted me and it made me feel like a monster. So this is why enough's enough. Because I don't know what could happen. And I don't want to find out. And I don't want to wait to find out. And the things that had crossed my mind. It was terrifying. I want to talk about it. But I'm embarrassed. And I feel like a bad person. For it crossing my mind. Because. I'm not like that. I'm not. Everybody growing up could tell you I was happy. There were times that I would smile and be happy even though in my mind I'm in a nightmare. I wanted to cause harm to somebody. And it was more than just cause harm. there was one time in school I dealt with bullying I was in high school in health class and somebody was somebody had turned around and said something to me that was unnecessary and I went into this I don't know how to explain but all I know is I felt my veins on fire 
And in the back of my mind, I could hear, you didn't deserve that. And I had a pen in my hand. I was about to stab that person in school. The bell had rung and it stabbed me out of it. And I thought, oh my God, I was going to hurt somebody over words. It's not me. It's not me. That's why I'm saying I don't know how far it'll go. I'm not a monster. I'm not. I feel like you guys are my only hope of finding out why. Why me? What is it? What does it want from me? Why me? Why all these years? What did I do? I just want it to go away. I want it to go away. I contacted you guys because you guys know you guys have been through this too. You've guys seen these things. I saw how you helped everybody and it's it's like in the back of my mind, can they help me? You guys help other people and you've helped people solve what nobody else can. It's like maybe just maybe somewhere you guys can find out what's going on. I need closure. I need this to go away. I just, I want to be able to go on with my life with some sort of peace. With what I have left to live. Felt like it was not happy with what I did and contacting you guys. It's only going to get worse if something isn't done. And I'm and I, I thank you guys for coming out. I really do a lot hardly. And it was in that room right there. And he overdosed on pills. There was a door, because this is all new in here. And they, they come in and kicked the door in and got the gentleman out of the house. So when I was talking to my neighbor, I asked him, I said, is there anything else that I can know you can tell me? He said there was a baby that was here that died of cancer. So I'm finding out more and more and more about this house. So the guy died in that room? The guy right? passed away in that room right there. That's, that's all I know really about it. But it's, here lately it's been kind of crazy. Anybody can help me out. We use guys. There ain't nobody else in this world I would want the other news guys here. News guys are real. There's nothing fake about you. And you guys mean well. And you guys have everything in your heart to come here and help her. And I think you guys can do it. That's the thing I ask. Yeah. And I really appreciate you guys coming out and taking your time on doing this. But yeah, he passed away in that room right there. That's where he passed away. So before Lacey and Eric takes off, we're going to run a spirit box session right here in this room. I know you said that there was a gentleman that died in this area. Right here. Right here. In the bed. There was a bed here one time. And when I come in here, I took everything out. He passed away in his house. And you've run sessions in here and picked I, up voices. I did it two times. And that was just recently. Because I want to know for myself it was actually going on within the house. I know what's going on with her. It's true. But here, it was kind of leery because I didn't know all this stuff happened in this house. I didn't know all these people passed away. So his body was in here he, for a couple body weeks. Was laying right there, and they kicked the door in. And we don't know what his name is. Um, what was his name? You know, it's I on our I think it's Thomas. It is Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, it was Thomas. Okay, we're here with Lacey and Eric. Can you tell me? Is there anybody attached to Lacey? Was that a yes? Mm -hmm. What is your name? Yeah. What is your name? Yeah. Who's in here with me? Did you die in this room? 
Are you going to speak with us tonight? We're going to help Lacey and Eric tonight. We're going to help you cross over. Can you say one of our names? Like I said, yes, leave. We're going to get ready to start our investigation. And we want you to speak to us. How did you die? Do we know how he died? He overdosed. The way I understand it, he overdosed on pills because he had a sleeping problem. Yeah, said stomach. Yeah, said something about stomach. stomach. Yeah. Was your death an accident? Yes. When we get ready to do the cleansing, we'll have you guys come back okay. in because I would like to do a blessing with you. She needs it really bad. She does. I didn't ever do any mean years. I'll get you guys to come down here and do this. Mm -hmm. Not mean years. You know? I mean, it's a blessing to God even have me in my home. Well, we appreciate you guys contacting us. and I thank you so much. I really do. All three of them, it means a lot to me. All righty. We'll do our thing, and then we'll I'll shoot you a text and okay. thank have you, you guys come much. back, okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so right now we're in Lacey and Eric's house. They brought us in for an investigation. Lacey's had, she believes something attached to her throughout her life, and it's gradually gotten worse. And things have picked up quite a bit since they've moved to this location. So they had us come out here to see if we can figure out what's going on and get them some help. Right now I've got EMF. We're just getting readings throughout the house. And I think in this room everything seems fairly flat. This is the room where they said that guy had died from a medication overdose and his body laid in this room for almost two weeks before any he was discovered. If there's any spirits inside this house, my name's Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We're here tonight to talk to you. I've got a device right here if you come up. And that's what you were experiencing during the interview, is seeing multiple black shadows yeah. moving from room to room. As a full shadow figure, Yeah, that's why I kept looking over there. Because it, it was like, I turned to, you know, over here to you, and then all of a sudden I'd see it go. It was something, it's like walking on the floor out there where Sean's at. Can you come in this room with us? Hear a metal voice. It's oh, cold. I just heard something. It's not like it said rocky. It's like this area right here is like super cold. Look. It's spiking. And it's, right now we're down to 14, so it's spiking quite a bit. It's like the temperature drop and this started going. Can you hit something for us? They said that you move stuff in here. Did you pass away in this room?
Are you back here? Hit something for me. We've got more of a normal reading in this room. Yeah, versus that room in there. Do you realize that you're dead? We keep seeing shadows. Who are we seeing? Are you showing up as a ball of light? Let's go to that room where you've seen that shadow. Okay, definitely get a wide shot here in case you see those shadows. Who is the shadow that we've seen in this room? Come forward and show yourself, please. Did you hear that? Yeah. Thank you. Can you talk to us? Do you like Lacey? Did you attach yourself to Lacey? It's like a female voice and then thumping. You know, just because you're dead doesn't mean you can't communicate with us. Did you accidentally pass away? Like a cold breeze right on the back of my neck right here. We've got an alarm back in the bedroom. Can you go back to that bedroom? Black ball of light right behind Sean. Did you hear that, Ken? Kitchen right behind you. Sean, give me the give me the camera. Back in that kitchen there was a black ball of light. Have you been following Lacey since she was a child? Can you hear that? Mm hmm. I'll stand over here. Are you 
you one that violated her personal space? crawl in bed with her? That was loud. Did you hear that? Mm hmm Can you tell me how many people's in this house? Is there something you want from Lacey? Do you show yourself to Eric? Not outside. Or... That's back in that back bedroom right back there. Oh, the kid? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, you sure it ain't coming from the basement then? Why don't you guys go to the basement? I'll stay up here. You got that uh, spirit box? Because we ain't about to, if we get to the basement, we're not going to be able to ask questions with these holes here. I think it's going to be too loud. So, yeah, too loud. well, no, what I'm saying is we'll have to be quiet down in the basement if you're going to run the spirit box. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what we'll do is I'll, let me run a spirit box session here. Okay, so right now I'm going to run a spirit box session. I'm up here in the main level of the house by myself. Rocky and Sean's going to go to the basement because they keep hearing. We don't know if the voices are coming from the basement. But this room right here is like super cold. And this is the room that we believe the gentleman passed away in. But yeah, this room is definitely like 10, 15 degrees colder than the rest of the house. I'm up here in the main level of the house by myself. This room is quite a bit colder. Are you in this room? Yes or no? Where are you at? Tell me your name. You walk past my alarm? Can you see me, yes or no? Yes. Who's the female? Please, show yourself. Can you move something in the kitchen for me? Are you attached to Lacey? Did you sexually abuse Lacey? We've seen you earlier. Show yourself. I'm up here all by myself. Are you close to me? This way. Are you back in that bedroom? Yes. I need you to show yourself. Is there anybody down here in the basement with me and Rocky? Are you upstairs with Josh? You say Rocky's name? What? Can you, <laughs> that was crazy. Can you say Rocky's name? Who is the kid? I think it may be. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Is the kid down here with me and Rocky?
I just want to talk to the kid. Are you alone? Are you alone? If you're upstairs, you can touch Josh too. Let him know that you're up there with him. Is the one that died here in this house still here? Yeah. The one that sexually assaulted Lacey here? Well, we're going to make you leave tonight. You're not going to be able to harm Lacey ever again. I don't think you're as powerful as you think you are. If somebody was that powerful, they would stand up to us. Somebody was talking. It was a mouse voice. Yeah. But I kept, uh, it sounded like to me, I kept hearing a woman's voice there too. It was like they're uh, talking to each other. Is the kid down here with us? We just want to help you cross over. We know you don't mean no harm here. We're going to make you leave tonight. No. No way. Demon, spirit, whatever it is. So, I mean, you wouldn't really think it could be the same spirit, you know. It's got to be multiple spirits. I mean, I, I agree with you. I think, you know, they just... You got bad spirits out there that are just doing whatever the hell they want. Things behind you. Yeah, I heard something. Well, that's what makes me think of it. He's coming. Okay, we'll just keep talking. Huh. Shh. Well, I swear something just touched my back. I hear something over there. We just have to know that you're here so we can try to help you. Are you touching me? Right there, other side of my neck. sound like a kid. Yeah. That was probably like eight years old. I think I said eight. And that's the thing, you know, she kept talking about like a woman, I mean a man, but I've heard a woman's voice and even when I was doing the spirit box session up here, I was getting a woman coming across. Yeah, and then I heard, I was sitting there and I was trying to be quiet because you guys were running your session at that time and I heard something in that back room goes, Josh. Like plain as day. That may have been. That may have been the voice that we heard. Yeah. So we stopped running the spirit box session downstairs and then we were just sitting there listening and we thought we heard like a Mel's voice say something but we was right next to the vent over there in the kitchen by the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But it was back here in that room. Was there somebody, there was a shadow right here off to the right of me. There ain't no way. We're how far off the ground? Yeah, we're two Six. stories up. Well, now we're about seven feet off the ground right here, I think. Something. Did you see that, Rocky? You're going to make yourself know, and right now is a good time to do it, because we're going to do the cleansing here pretty soon. You want Lacey to come back in here? She wants you gone. She wants you to leave her life.
there's a child in here, can you tell me your name? Chris. Yes, Chris. Chris, how old are you? Can you see me? I don't think you're really a demon. No way. What did you say? What did say? I said, yes, I am. If you're a demon, tell me something that nobody knows about me. That only you would know. What is my middle name? Can you say my middle name? Who lives in this house? Why are you here? Can you say Lacey? Did you lose your mom? Yes. Do you want us to help you find her? So, Chris. What's your mom's name? Chris, what is your mom's name? You want Josh to help you? Help. Oh, help holy me. shit. Yeah. Did you die when your mom died? Did this used to be your home? No. Are you moving with uh, Lacey? Okay, so we've got Lacey and Eric back in the house. We're gonna start the cleansing. And what we'll do is we'll just go through and we'll put, we've got holy water, we'll put crosses on all the walls. And our hope is to push all this negative energy out and anything that is attached to you, away from you. We come in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, Lord, we ask that you defend us as we enter into battle and be our protection against all things wicked and evil. Anything that has attached itself to Lacey, we ask that you drive it away. All the negative energy, any attachments, you push them away from Lacey and keep her safe. Keep her children safe. Keep Eric safe. Lord, we seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We drive out any and all spirits from this house. If you died in this room, you can go be free. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that are open inside this house. You're no longer welcome here. You're no longer a part of my life or my family's life. Tonight, Lacey's gonna stand up and she's gonna take her life back. You will no longer affect her. Lord, we ask that you drive out all negative energy and any attachments to Lacey. Protect her from this day forward. Lord, we seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits, good and evil, we drive you out of this house in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We command you to leave. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus. Fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no place for the evil ones to hide. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus. Lord, we seal this room with the sign of the cross and your blood. Cast out all the negative energy 
and spirits inside this house. We seal this bed with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, push out all the negative energy. We seal this basement with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just ask that you drive out all the negative energy, any spirits, good and evil inside this basement. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. You are no longer welcome here. You must leave in the name of Jesus Christ. I really want to hit that natural spring because that might be like a gateway. Yeah. Lord, we seal this spring with your blood. If this is a gateway to the other side, we seal it tight forever. We seal this basement with the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. We have closed all entryways, doorways, and portals. Leave this house and leave now and leave forever. And that was one of the big things at the Bel Air house, which isn't far from here. No, and it's actually on top of a mine itself too. These houses that are built on top of these mines, and you look at all the people who died yeah, that's what in I'm these talking. mines. Yeah. And here you have a natural spring so it's possible that those spirits that, you know, went through that tragedy are using this as a gateway and just coming through and, you know, passing through. We seal this stairwell with the blood of Jesus Christ. Hi guys. Just wanted to say thank you for coming out and that we continue to push forward each day and not looking back and staying positive. Thanks for all that you guys have done for us. Bye.